Hello friends, I'm Isaac Abasi and today I am going to talk about a very very popular question which I received many times from my viewers and my friends. The question is that what is the importance of English grammar in English language speaking? The same question I repeat in another way, has English grammar any importance for speaking English? In this video I am going to talk about to different conditions to different situations of language learning if you watch this video carefully and grip on these two points i hope you will be able to remove all the confusion in your mind many people from you may be disagree with me and my points but you have a right to disagree with me you can share your own opinion in the comment box but in a respectful manner because our YouTube channel is about educational purpose. So let's begin. So first of all, we are going to discuss about the first condition or first situation of language learning. Let's suppose that a child who belongs to an Urdu speaking family or Punjabi speaking family, but he gets admission in a school where the whole environment is in English language speaking. All the teachers and staff members speak and teach their students in English language because other languages are not allowed to be spoken here. So in early days, a child who belongs to Urdu speaking family or Punjabi or Pashto speaking family, he feels himself uncomfortable. But with the passage of time, he start memorizing English vocabulary, English phrases, English sentences. And after it, he tries to make conversation with his classmates and with his teachers. So in this way, he starts speaking English without learning any English grammar rule. So this method of learning English or uh, speaking English is called direct method. Now, we are going to discuss about the second condition or second situation of language learning. If a child gets admission in a school where the whole environment is in Urdu speaking language, even English teachers translate English into Urdu. English teachers try to focus on grammar rules from the classics. First he writes an Urdu sentence on the whiteboard, then he translates into English with all the grammar rules. In the beginning days, students try to memorize these grammar rules and then they use them for making sentences into English language. But they can't find any environment where they can speak and make conversation with their teachers and with their friends. In early days, grammar rules entrapped them for speaking English. But with the passage of time, they become used to and they can speak very well English with the help of these grammar rules. So this method of learning English or speaking English is called grammar translation method. So many friends want to know about which method is best for learning English. So I suggest that both methods are useful. It depends on your environment. If you have an environment where you can speak and make conversation with people in English language, it is best. But if you can't find any environment where you can make conversation with people and teachers and with your friends, this grammar translation method is best for you. Both methods are useful. I hope that you enjoy this video. I want to say that keep practicing, keep smiling and keep improving. Allah Hafiz. Allah